Hey everybody, it's Woo Woo time for some real talk. Okay, this is a real sensitive topic that I really would like for everybody to chime in on. Please uh, leave comments. Uh, just let me know what you all think and how you feel about this topic. A lot of times, not just young people, but we go through things in life and we need someone to talk to. Is it fair to say that when you are going through something, it's best to talk to someone that has gone through what you're going through or to talk to someone that is older or talk to your best friend or talk to someone that doesn't know you and you want to confide in them. What is your opinion on that? My opinion is, I'm going to go biblical, okay? The Bible says we overcome by our testimony. And the reason that we overcome, because it frees us from whatever. It gives us that victory, confirming whatever we have gone through. But someone else is waiting to hear your testimony. So what you have gone through, someone else is waiting to hear that because they need that because they're going through it. So my opinion is, yes, you talk to your parents and uh, grandparents, and, and but I would not talk to someone about something that I'm going through, that I'm trying to get through, that can't help me. Because I don't want somebody's opinion based on um, just their personal opi uh, opinion. I don't want that. I need help. I want help. I need clarity. So I am going to go to someone that can honestly give me direction give me the answers that I need to um, validate what it is I'm going through and give me understanding. I'm not just going to go to somebody just to be talking about what I'm going through to give them my business so they can run around and just talk to other people about it. I want to go to somebody that can help me get through what I'm going through. Somebody that I know that's going to give me some sound advice. Somebody that I know that is going to pray for me and help me through this. Because to just take your problems to somebody else just to be talking, what good is that? I know sometimes you feel like, I just need to talk about this. I just need to get it out. That's what you're saying. Yes, you do need to talk about it. But you honestly want it answers be honest you know you're looking for answers you're looking for a way out or how to fix it or something you're just not wanting to talk so to me for me i want somebody when i go to somebody with a problem i'm, I'm praying lord first of all i've already prayed lord put somebody in my pathway Somebody that can uplift, encourage, or give me direction. I just don't want some sympathy. Or sometimes you talk to some people and they want to know more. You're telling them stuff and they'd they be like, oh man, why did she do that? Why did he do that? How did that happen? How did you get yourself in that situation? Oh my goodness. And then sometimes you feel worse after talking to them. That's not what we want when we go to somebody. We want to feel as if we have a plan. There's a solution. And to know that there's victory on the other side. That's what we look for when we're going through. Not a pity party. Not to turn around an hour later and then you get a phone call and somebody saying, oh man, I didn't know you was going through that. And da 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 
You don't want that. At least I don't. That's why you have to be careful with who, whoever you share your situation with to make sure that, um, that they honestly have you, they honestly are concerned about you, and that they are going to be, uh, how can I put it? They're going to be faithful and not going to just look for a conversation to gossip about or anything like that. You have to find somebody that is going to, in other words, help carry you through this, help walk you through this, somebody that's going to be there for you. You know, someone that you could confide in and knowing that your information stay just between the both of you. You know, that's what you look for. So be careful to whom you share things with. Because let me explain this to you. If you are going through something, a lot of times it's a spiritual warfare. You know, you're wrestling against the spiritual, it's a spiritual thing. You're wrestling against flesh and blood. Uh, you're wrestling against things of, of evil and good. Things of bad and good. You're wrestling against that. It's a spiritual warfare. Warfare. And you have to be careful who you give certain information to. Because let me explain again. If you don't share your information with someone that is there for you and going to support you, what happens is your business gets out there on the street and then your situation, it grows, it gets bigger. Why does it get bigger? And why does it get worse? Because now more people know about it. You're more stressed about it. You're mad. You're upset. So now you're in a place where you are not comfortable. And with all the chitter chatter that's going on, it it turns a it turns a mohio a mohio into a mountain, and you're gonna try to deal with it yourself instead of try to seek help, you know. And now you're embarrassed, you're confused, you you know you're dealing with a whole lot of more issues. And negative talk is like a forest fire. You could say your uh. You could talk to someone and confide in someone one way. By the time it leaves your mouth and and then it leaves their mouth, it's a totally different situation. It's not going to come out the same way that you, you said it. Because now it's being passed on and passed on and passed on. It's not going to come out the way you said it. And that's where a lot of misunderstandings come in. And I didn't say that. And she said this. And she said that. So it's best to find yourself a confidant. Someone that you can confide in. Someone that believes what you believe. Uh, if you believe in victory and you believe in faith and you know that God is there for you, those are the type of people that you confide in. Those are the ones that you confide in. Not someone just because they're your BFF if you don't believe the same. You know, uh, yeah, I know the Bible speaks about being unequally yoked. And you know that's even in a relationship with a BFF or a friend. You can't be unequally yoked. Even with friends. With friends, you cannot be unequally yoked because... If you don't believe the same and think the same and uh, have the same kind of upbringing, that, that will call, cause problems. And that's why sometimes some friends just don't stick around because you are unequally yoked. You're, You're not from um, the same background. You don't believe the same. You don't think the same. And it's very you have to be very careful of that 
because if you are friends with someone and you don't believe the same and it's sometimes it work out and sometimes it don't but how can two different people so different in their beliefs and their way of life be friends that's like saying i don't drink but she drinks i don't smoke but he smokes it's either one's gonna pull the other one or you just realize you know this isn't for me this isn't for me but some things it's a little it's drinking and smoking you know one may put it down later or one may pick it up but anyway I hope that this little conversation that we had, and I hope you leave some comments. Uh, yeah, leave me some comments. And if you'd like to see more videos of Real Talk, be sure and hit that like and subscribe, turn on the notification so you'll know that I'm on. Now, if you would like to see, really see more of me just chiming in and giving my opinion and just chatting with you all, Make sure that you like the video so I will know that this is what you want. The videos that you like are the ones that I'm going to do the most of. And eventually, one's going to, some's going to fade out and some is just going to stay current. So with that being said, don't let anyone or anybody dictate your moods or your happiness. And you all have a great day. And above all things, remember. You can do all things through Christ that strengthens you. Have a great day.